what's up you guys welcome back to simple sick builds you know with all this quarantine shit going on can't really do much right now with videos but uh i received the radiator for this truck that i've been wanting to put on like two weeks ago but i haven't had the time so this truck's been sitting for two weeks because uh your boy hasn't been working you know what i'm saying and uh i'm gonna try to put it on i've never done it before so hopefully i don't fuck it up but if i do and if anybody out there is trying to learn how to do it you guys can learn from my mistakes so let's just jump into it all right you guys so there's a little like a shroud piece that goes right here i currently have it removed it's not inside the car uh simple has like little push and pop out clips you pop them out it's like a bunch of clips i don't have the piece in here with me right now it's in my room because i took it away but uh once you take that off uh it exposes a little bit more stuff up here in case you need to take shit off to be honest i don't know what i'm gonna really take off i'm gonna go look at what i need to remove the car has no coolant whatsoever because it all got drained out due to this little accident right here right there if you follow my snap you already know it leaked all the coolant out and i tried to fix it with some jb well but that didn't go so good so let me see what i'm going to proceed to do to remove this whole plastic and all these hoses and uh i'll walk you through whatever i do first all right guys so give me one second and let me see how i'm going to tackle this all right guys so i removed the cover that goes up here it's down there pops up super simple no clips it's just held on by these little clips right here and a couple other ones so let me see how i'm going to tackle and removing this and uh see what bolts i need to take off all right guys so i went ahead and loosened uh this right here it's a flathead that goes into the air box this had a little clip down here you guys could see that i don't know how good i can get a like, angle right there there's a little clip that goes in there nothing to it just pull up on it same thing with this right here it goes into there pull that out remove the uh the flathead right here with the flathead i mean remove that and this comes out simple as that so let me go over it real quick with you guys just to make sure you guys comprende uh flathead right here has like uh just clips that it sets in right here nothing nothing too hard you just pull up on it same thing right here there's a little air hose that goes in there i think that's what it is pops out and then the flathead that's holding right there to the magnifold. So, magnifold, little air hose thing that goes there. And uh, yeah, guys, and the other one that's over here. That's about it. Super basic. So let me proceed to uh, tear this thing apart. All right, you guys, before you continue doing this, pull out your new radiator. Look at all the plug-in thingies. You guys are probably gonna give me shit because I don't know what the fuck to call them But make sure all the hoses and everything match up with the ones in here You know you got your top one right here. You got your two uh, lines right there Everything seems to me be like cool. So Hopefully everything turns out sweet. You can't really see shit down there Before you completely tear it apart. I don't know if you guys can see down there But everything seems to match up with all the stuff right here and you got your little line right here the little baby one that's a little small hole right there on the top of that uh big one right here on the left side it's this one yeah guys i can't really show you much i apologize because it's so dark uh so let me get to uh removing this let me get some vice grips and remove that and this will come off and has a little tab right here and i can fold it back keep it away from this and that'll be my first step so let me continue removing that all right guys so i removed the top radiator hose that goes right here that goes into that all i did is snake it up there held it right there because uh there is a special tool to remove these if you want to go buy one but since i ain't trying to go out right now i just use my uh, trusty rusted ass pliers right here screw it together and pull it out it's super simple wiggle it out if yours is like super stuck on there you're gonna probably have to either cut them off some people see have to cut them off because they're so stuck or i don't know what's up with that but mine came off pretty smoothly it's looking good so now let me proceed to um see how i'm gonna tackle these because i never took off these before i ain't gonna lie with you i ain't gonna lie to you i never took these off so all right let me see how i'm gonna attack that real quick and i'll get back to you all right you guys so i figured out what's up so this one looked different because it has a little cover right here boom that has a cover and the bottom one down there also has a cover let me see if I can get a light down there, guys. Hold on, give me one second. 
Let's see how far this can go. Oh, cool. Okay, okay. It's gonna work. All right. Okay, cool. Let's see if it'll stay down there. All right. So, there's two. There's one right here where my finger is. If you guys can see that. And then there's this one right here. So, it's just a cover. And it has these little, like, clips right here. Let me show you better on the other one. I have these little clips right here. I don't know if you guys can see. Those come off. And then the radiator hose lines, I think they're for the transmission. I'm not really sure. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong because I'm not really familiar with it. Let me rip this off real quick. There you go. Uh, they have both of them. So both of them just clip off. Boom, boom. You're good. And uh, I'll show you once I proceed to the other side because the other side's, I don't know if it's the same thing or different story. But uh, I'm doing first the left side and then the right side. And then we'll see what's up. So there's these little clips right here. You get a little flathead or something and you take them off. So I'm going to proceed to do it on the truck right now. And hopefully it's not as hard as they look because they look really in there. But let me tackle it real quick. Clip that's right here. It's this thing right here. Uh, I was lucky enough that this clip was facing upwards like this. Facing the car. Like this. So I could just pull up on the tab coming from the top. But the bottom was a different story. Uh, let me see how close I can get my GoPro down there. Uh, so I don't know if you guys can see that. So I have to push up from the bottom, and then with another flathead, I'm gonna grip, grab the uh, the little ear from it. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna grab the little ear right here with another flathead and just pry upwards because the bottom one, the other bottom flathead is pushing up up on it. And I can't, I don't want to go into the truck because my hands don't fit down there. So I'm gonna see if I can uh, tackle that and pull up on this because it's facing that little clip down there instead of facing upward like this. It's facing like this. So I'm trying to hit one of these little things. Let me show you. Let me put this down. I'm trying to push up on this thing so it can pop up the ear and I can just pull upwards. This one, it was like this. So all I did is push on the ear and I popped it out a little bit and then got a little flat hand and just pulled out. So the bottom one's a little tougher. I ain't going to lie to you guys, but I'm getting it done. So let me uh, get to this real quick and let me see if I can put the camera down there so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But if not, I uh, hope you guys understand. I don't know how you guys could see that down there, but that is the clip uh, I just dropped. You guys saw that? I just dropped the clip, but it's all good because the new radiator does come with the clip and I have this down here to catch it. It's right there. I just don't want to fuck with it, but you guys get the idea. I pushed up on this right here. I pushed up and with this little thing right here, I don't know if you guys can catch that, this little hook, I shoved it in between there. And clipped up so now we're good to go so uh let's move on to the next process all right you guys you know i'm straight forward with you guys that shit was not easy at all but this is removed now this thing is removed took that out too hard look at that got oil on me and shit uh the bottom one does the same thing it pops out those are the th only three things as just like that new radiator so now i'm gonna proceed to move my ass over here to the right side, passenger side, and uh, remove this one right here, and then uh, same fucking process. That's the fucked up part, cause uh, they are a pain in the ass. So let me continue doing this, and uh, I'll update you guys when I get halfway through. So clip right here, little um, has little clips on both those lines right there. There's two of them, and there's one on the bottom, and I'll show you the one on the bottom last. But this is simple. Get some ice cream, pull out. If you got that little fancy tool good for your ass but i ain't got it uh but yeah guys let me proceed and i'll show you that last bottom one the big thick one that's on the bottom because uh this one's simple this one has a little clip again like i did right now this one this one and then i don't know how this one is this one's big and has like a little it looks like it should have a clip as well but yeah guys let me proceed to knock that 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 and uh i'll show you that one last all right you guys so i finally took off this one right here and the bottom one right here. This last bottom one right here. See if I can get my hand somewhere in here. Give me one second guys. I'm trying to... So as for this one, this one looks easy. It looks like it they could just do this with the flathead. Yeah. Came okay, well, off super simple. You guys can catch that. Let's see if I can pull up on it or which way it's gonna come down. Yeah. Alright, uh, let me try to pull up now. Whew. 
that's it and uh, put that down move that here they are all loose guys this one's off this one's off and all you got to do is pull out so now let me proceed to remove this uh, shroud cover that covers the radiator there's a fan right there so I'm pretty sure it's just a little pop-up yeah there's clips right here clips right here and clips right here it comes off in two pieces I'm assuming yeah it doesn't have anything up here let me bring you guys over here a little step stool uh, same thing one right here and one right there and one right there and this should come off so let me proceed to do that and it's a use a flathead to pop up right yeah flathead will pop up all right cool let me proceed to do that and then i'll show you what's good after that all right you guys once you guys removed all that stuff that i told you it's like three clips on each side i'm gonna push this forward right here and this thing should come right off like so nothing to it and uh be crazy and just toss it don't really toss it but be careful and uh once you got that out uh to get this this is pretty much basically loose right here as i can tell it doesn't look like anything's holding it in but uh there is a clip right here you have to push upwards on it and uh let me see if there's anything underneath because this one's loose this side's super loose right here and uh to be honest i'm not really sure if uh there's anything holding there just some clip-ons but let's uh let's check together real quick i'm new at this so bear with me guys okay so what i'm looking at is there is nothing holding it in it's just uh push-up clips so let me push the clips upwards because uh i don't know if the fan's gonna allow it or if i need to like bend the fin a little bit just to get it out or uh What's good because I've never done this, so uh, bear with me, guys. Let me uh, see what's up with this uh, little bottom piece of the fan cover, or yeah, I think it's the fan cover or radiator cover. I'm not really sure, but let me knock it out. All right, guys. Reason why this wasn't moving when I was pulling up, there is a little clip right here that attaches to these lines right here. It was see that hole right there? It was attached to there, so I use a flathead to pry out. Now this thing is loose, completely loose. So now I'm gonna. God damn it. Now I'm going to uh, proceed to remove that. And uh, it, good thing it's a little flexible. Because uh, I don't have to disturb the fan. So I'm going to pull it out and give me one second. All right, guys? And we're good to take this out now. All right, so I proceeded to remove actually all the lines on both sides. And uh, instead of pulling this out, because I'm seeing that it's going to be stuck with this fan right here. I won't be able to pull out. So I just pushed it back. And I'm going to loosen this and the opposite one on the other side and this should loosen up this uh, radiator and it just lands into like a little thing right there so there's only bolts on top of the radiator because that one that's how that one is so i'm going to pull these off pull that one off i already pulled off the bottom uh, uh radiator hose so make sure you have a catch can down there for the cooling if your coolant's clean or recycle it somehow make sure you have that make sure when you pull out these lines you have a little rag at the bottom like i did so right here because it will uh, leak, um, I think it's transmission fluid if I'm not mistaken. So yeah guys, uh, there's nothing to it besides loosening these up now. And just pulling out the radiator and uh, putting the new one in. So let me proceed to pull it out. All the lines are already disconnected. The upper radiator hose, all these lines right here. Uh, same thing with the opposite side. The top radiator uh, hose, uh, the lines, and the bottom radiator hose. The bottom radiator, radiator hose is the one that's going to leak all the coolant out. So make sure to catch that. So... Let me pull this out right now. All right, guys, now we're going to remove these uh, grommets right here. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Of course, everything is impossible with one hand nowadays. Uh, come on, get out. Get, get. All right, we got one out. And we got, I'm trying to push this thing through. There we go. This one actually came out. Okay. So you can remove it like this, and then you remove this. God damn, it still don't want to come out. There we go. I need my other hand. So, boom, boom. We're good. We're set. Alright guys, so once you guys are done removing the other radiator, 
and dispose of it properly. Make sure to take off these grommets off of it. These grommets go in here and if you're having a hard time, just remember this little thing pushes out. See this thing? Uh, it pushes outwards. Let's see if I can put my GoPro down real quick and show y'all. These things just pop out like so. Like that. So make sure this goes facing the uh, frame, the rigid support. So let's install one so you guys can see. So let's install this one. So first time I'm doing is putting this rubber grommet in. It's a pain that's with one hand like always. All right, you put that in there. And then this thing goes facing the front of the car. It's in the radiator support. Vice versa, same thing you do right there. Do it right here. This is you need to transfer. Clips already in here. Came with brand new clips. You don't need to take those out. As for the radiator clip, the, um, for the lower radiator hose, it goes on the actual radiator hose. You just pop it in. So everything is just clipped back on. Besides, this little tube that came off right here has a regular clamp. Same thing for the upper radiator hose, regular clamp. So let me throw this in there and uh, kind of show you what I mean. Also forgot guys, before you guys forget, I forgot about this step. Remember to take these off. These are for the bottom couplers that uh, go between the frame and the radiator so it won't get fucked up. So let me install them real quick so I can show you. Installing this in there. Let me grab the light. Show you guys what I meant by this thing right here. So you guys see that hole right there? This thing goes like this. Can I reach? go make sure you guys wipe all this shit clean from the radiator that leaked i already did that opposite side right there we're good right there we're, we're golden there we go we're all set like put the light down now let's throw this bad boy in all right guys once the radiator is uh sitting good and bolted up top i'm gonna proceed to get this uh, little shield for the radiator and i'm gonna just clip it onto here it just slides down there and on the opposite side as well i'm gonna do this with two hands i'm gonna put the camera down for now and once i do that i'll proceed to put it on the top side and i'll show you guys all right guys now that both of the sides are in now i proceed to put the top part the top part slides onto the second little thing right here and put this camera i mean this uh light down that little clip right here i don't know if the camera's picking that up that one and the opposites are right here. It'll just like go over it. And uh, there's like these little tabs right here. Let me show you if I can. The little tabs right there. The little tab right. Let me see if I can. Right there. It clips in with like little self taps, uh, plastic self taps. So let me put the other top back on. And there's a little line right here so it can line up. And just put that, that one, and that one back on. Super simple. All right, you guys, I finally got the cover back on. The only reason I'm doing it like this and I haven't connected any of the hoses or lines because it made, it was easier for me to do it this way. So now for the like easy part. So now, remember how the bottom piece had that little tab right there? I'm sure you guys, this, this little nipple thing right here that taps into the actual shield. Just clip it in there. Well, don't completely clip it in yet. Just line it up with that. And remember how I told you all these little things just push in after you're done? So let's put this in. I don't think I'll be able to do it with one hand, guys, but you guys get the idea. You push in and you're all good to go. You don't need to like uh, put this in, then the clip, it actually just pushes in. So let me push it in real quick. All right, you guys, I got one complete side on. I fastened this in. I tapped these in with a little hammer. I gave them a little tap. They went straight in. So did the one on the bottom. This whole side is complete. It's only three. It's only upper radiator holes. And these, uh, I think they're, if I'm not wrong, because I'm not familiar with uh, these trucks, they're the transmission uh, fluid. I think. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. I know some of you know. Once I do that, I put these little caps on them. There, that's that cap. And then there's the bottom cap. I can't really. There you go. Now I'm going to proceed to do the opposite side. I'm not going to show you that. Same process as this. Just tap them in there and they're good to go. Sometimes they're so new that you can't even just push them in. You might have to take off the clip on some of them. But 
Uh, right now everything went smoothly. Let me show you guys on this side. All right, let me show you guys on this side. So I'm not gonna connect the lower radiator hose yet or the little hose that goes up here. So as for the lines, these lines right here, so I don't know if you guys can see, that one already has it in. So with the hammer, I'm gonna give it a little, I have to tap it. I'm gonna tap it with the hammer so this can get pushed in through that. Same thing with this upper one. Go here and then just see if I can do it with one hand. No, I can't. <laughs> I really can't. I don't have the strength to do it with one hand. So it just pushes in. Let me see my other hand if I can do it. Okay, you guys. Oh, there goes the camera. But I mean, there goes the light. You guys see how that just popped in? You do that to all of them. You don't have to be worried about having to put the clip over it. And then, because that's going to be a pain in the ass. You guys get the idea. And then once we're done, man, I really need a shop light. Get this. For safety so that clip won't come out you guys get the idea i'm gonna use my other hand so let me finish this off all right guys i'm done with everything as you could tell let me just cable out of the way real quick everything is done make sure all the clips tabs are clipped in where they need to there's one right there that goes into the cover there's one right here underneath that's right there i don't know if you guys can see that uh yeah just make sure everything is done good exactly how it comes off it goes on super simple so yeah unfortunately i don't have any coolant and i don't want to go out to the store because you guys could tell it's freaking california weather once again look at this it's pouring man look at that what the hell all right guys uh let me close this up and uh yeah i'm all done all right guys so that's it for the uh, replacement of the radiator. Uh, this should work for a 2007-2013 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. Mine's a 6.0, the Vortec model or model of the motor. I don't know, there's so many trims, so I'm not really sure. But if this helps anybody out there, please give it a thumbs up. Even if it doesn't help you, give this video a thumbs up. You never know who might need help changing their radiator later on. And guess what? You'll know you can charge them a couple of bucks. This usually takes like about one hour, one hour to one hour and 30 minutes to do. I was filming, it took me three hours. Thank God for freaking video magic that we could just cut clips. But it all went good. If you follow the steps, I guess it's good, right? You know, the only thing I couldn't add is the radiator fluid. Because it's pouring, I don't want to go out. And you know how this quarantine thing is. So make sure to stay home and be safe, guys. Uh, so make sure to like the video, comment down below if you have any questions or anything I could have done better. Consider subscribing. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.